Bring it up. All the way. Dad, you can't keep spending money on junk. I can break it down, strip it for parts. This stuff is what's going to put you through college. Something in here needs to make this family some money. Come on, you old wreck. Judgment day. What the hell happened to you? Look, it's not normal steel. I don't think it's a truck at all. I think we just found a transformer. ask you this once. Where is Optimus Prime? You know, we got a rule about messing with people from Texas. A new era has begun. The age of the Transformers is over. Don't you get it? We don't need you anymore. much fun it really does seem like a whole nother movie uh the slogan they've debuted for transformers 4 is the rules have changed uh and i wouldn't just say a whole new movie it actually reminds me of et uh but with mark Wahlberg. i think it looks like michael bay is using him to great effect here uh and you seem to have you know the et e. storyline where you know small town america i love that line i think we found a transformer uh it makes me instantly interested in this world uh where transformers have apparently had to go into hiding uh right there i'm like oh this this seems interesting and also I have to say I really enjoyed the first three Transformers films I saw all of them I thought three was very good it ended on a nice note uh, I guess that first um, you know that first trilogy uh, but I like this new renewed focus on the human characters uh, and I think that'll make the and I don't think that is anything against the Transformers I think it'll make the Transformers sequences even better and stand out even more I love Stanley Tucci and I guess uh, a car dealership that was great uh, if I had to say that I didn't like or I was disappointed in any aspects here, it's that it didn't have any of the Hong Kong aspects that we know are very important to the movie. Uh, you know, they shot in Hong Kong. They built a, a Hong Kong duplicate set uh, here in the United States. Uh, they have Asian uh, Chinese actors they put in the film. And you saw, you saw, I, I believe, Fan Bing Bing uh, very quickly here in just one, like, reaction shot. But at the same time, uh, I thought this was going to be more of a bridge movie. And perhaps they'll get there. Uh, but that's behind-the-scenes stuff. I mean, if you didn't know about this, you know, reaching out uh, across the globe to China, uh, you wouldn't expect to see that here. I think this is a very exciting trailer. Uh, I like the renewed, as I said, renewed focus on humans and, of course, on story, I guess, which, which is an odd idea for not only a Transformers film, but a Michael Bay movie, uh, but I think it's a welcome, a welcome change. And of course, finally, Dinobots. It looks like before he rides him, uh, he's going to have to break him. Uh, so I think that's uh, that's hilarious. I love Grimlock charging at the camera. That looked really good. Uh, and Optimus Prime. It'll be interesting to see how they they hash that out and how if he if he rides Grimlock by force or uh, if Grimlock is like, we can be friends now. Get on my back. But I liked it a lot. Uh, I, I thought, again, everything clicked really nicely. I love Michael Bay visuals. I just watched The Island the other day on HBO. Uh, and I was reminded what a good, solid film it was. And Michael Bay takes a lot of heat. But as I said, I liked Pain and Gain. Uh, and I think this is going to be a great step forward for the Transformers uh, franchise for Michael Bay and Mark Wahlberg, who's on, on a roll, obviously. So what did you guys think? Does it seem like a whole new franchise to you? Do you see the E.T. similarities? Uh, are, you are you intrigued by this new world where Transformers have gone into hiding and what do you think of a focus on humans in the film do you like that or you do you see these movies for the robots
Democrats. And if Mark Wahlberg wants to stand behind one carrying his sword for him, great. And also, you have three kinds of characters now with the addition of the Dinobots. So you have Transformers, Dinobots, and humans. Uh, and also, finally, does it matter to you if this film uh, takes place, you know, a large chunk in uh, Hong Kong, uh, real or not real? Uh, does that matter to you? Do you want to see that? Are you excited about uh, Hollywood becoming more global? Or are you fine if that's just in the, you know, the, the version they release over there? Because we didn't get to see those scenes in Iron Man 3, and I, for one, was disappointed. Uh, I, I'm embracing a, a more global Hollywood, uh, and I want to be a part of it. I don't want just Hollywood to make money off of it. So write your thoughts down below. Thank you for tuning into my trailer review. Uh, I think this is going to be, I'm excited. I can't wait. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.